Hello everyone. I welcome you to this mini series cat question a day keep the stress away. Today we are going to talk about a para summary question, okay? Before we do that, let's look at what all activities have been planned for you on November 28. So we have the analysis of all the three slots for you along with the score calculator, right? For slot 1 it's at 1 p.m., for slot 2 at 5 p.m. and for slot 3 at 8 p.m. So do join us, okay? Now Para summary. Again, I am assuming that you know the concept behind it. You know how to find a para summary. So I'll just throw a question at you, and you have to pause your screens, figure out the correct answer, and then we'll discuss it. Here's the question. Okay. Assuming that you paused your screens and you have figured out the correct answer, let's see what the answer should be. So let's eliminate, okay? So in a para summary question, you should always, always eliminate, right? Um, option one was pretty easy to eliminate because here this paragraph talks about the, I mean, it talks about things from a person's perspective. It's written in the first person, so all these observations, whatever has been written, is from this person's perspective. As I sit in a communal garden in London, so somebody. was sitting in a communal garden in london saw something and then chose to write about it right when i first read this whereas first so this paragraph talks about this person as well isn't it has been written by this person and here the person mentions himself or herself so in the summary also we should capture it ideally the paragraph is not just about hudson it is about how author read the hudson how the author felt about hudson right so that's why this is incomplete as it does not figure the author at all this option does not have the author in it at all okay eliminate it now coming to um this one the author recalls how hudson in his birds in london looks at a sparrow as if for the first time and calls it a little known creature of greater intelligence and individual character about whom one could always say something fresh okay right but doesn't it miss this point wherein the author says when i first read this i was surprised so it misses out the author's reaction to what hudson said yes if you have to capture the essence of this paragraph this is an account written by a person so we have to capture his or her feelings or reaction to the issue as well isn't it so this just captures hudson's perspective not the how the author felt on reading it yes so again incomplete and eliminated now between 3 and 4 this is a matter of tone actually elimination between the two so if you look at 4 the author admires hudson's ability to look at a sparrow as if for the first time but is surprised now when i when i use is surprised in this way it marks a sort of dislike you know i am surprised that you think this i am surprised at your thinking when we say that that sort of a tone comes out because the author admires i am drawing a contrast the author admires something but is surprised so that means the author does not admire this thing that is what comes out of this option right that interpretation comes out but is surprised at his notion that sparrows have a mind and one can always say something fresh about them okay so this shows this in a negative light also the author says when i first read this i was surprised we don't know if the author is still surprised or not okay so that's why four is eliminated three is our answer here the author while citing some instances from an essay in hudson's birds in london states okay so from an essay very specific something that's there in my paragraph 2 we talk about one essay okay in one of its essays so Uh, states how hudson could look at a common bird sparrow as if for the first time this is stated here so this is uh the author's observation about hudson the author's observation and this is the author's reaction or the author's feeling on reading it right and admits to being surprised when he first read some of his words words such as so we need not see these are instances fresh mind is is its greater intelligence individual character these are instances examples okay in a way so i have told you that in a summary question you need not cite all the examples summary is not about examples summary is about the essence of the paragraph right which is captured in 
point three, option three, which is our answer. This was a relatively easy question on the easier side. I am hoping that a lot of you got this right. Okay. Any query? Uh, put it in the comment section. I'll answer. This is it from my side for today. Bye. All the best.